The summer of 1973 was a very hot summer in Beirut. And on the hills, there was a really comfortable cave that was home to a French couple called Jean-Marc and Jean-Marc. They had a really interesting way of earning their living. They would fashion cannabis resin into cod pieces <laughs> that made them look both well-endowed and rather excited, which meant that as they crossed the border and really turned up the gay, the border guards went nowhere near them. Also living in that cave were a young couple, 18 and 21, Carolyn and Colin, who had hitched their way across Europe and found themselves living in this glorious cave. On this particular day, they'd saved up to go and buy an ice cream. And as they walked back to the cave, they saw that it was surrounded by Lebanese police. They turned around, dropped their ice cream, and stuck out a thumb. They were very quickly picked up by the Lebanese police. <laughs> Colin was put in the men's prison and Carolyn was put in the women's prison. And for three days, Colin watched as the men were taken one by one and had their wrists strapped to their ankles, tied from a pole and pummeled. On the third day, it appeared to be Colin's turn. He was in the queue, and it stopped. And he was taken out into the fresh air and the sunshine in Beirut and reunited with Carolyn. They hitched their way home, and five years later, having upgraded from their cave in Beirut, they had a thatched cottage with no electricity or running water, which is where Carolyn gave birth to her second daughter, Bryony.